Hello students, young and old. I've been reading through some stories and I've actually noticed that a number of people, not a lot, but a number of people, are commonly misspelling words that normally end with Y. And I realised that perhaps you didn't know some of the basic rules that apply to them. So, the basic rule that applies most of the time is that when you're adding an ending, you change the Y to an I. Now that doesn't work all of the time, but let's work through the times where it does work. So, let's start with some verbs, some doing words, and when you change tense. For instance, we have hurry, which normally ends in a Y, but when you're doing it now, it's hurries, I-S. And if you're doing it in the past, it's hurried. And if you're doing it in the future, it is will hurry. So, when you need to put on the I-S or the I-E-D, you need to drop the Y. Likewise, worry becomes worried or worries and carry becomes carried. So you lose the Y when you're changing it to past tense or indeed present tense like carries. So that's what you do with most of your verbs. Next up you have nouns. Now nouns are actually where I notice this error most of the time. So you've got a word like nanny. Now the plural of nanny is not nannies. It's actually nannies like that and kitty is kitties. It's I-E-S. So Drop the Y, I-E-S. It's actually a lot like what you do with verbs. There is a time where you will leave the Y, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So, normally, if it's just a normal verb, and a normal noun, and you're making it plural, you drop the Y, you add I-E-S for nannies and kitties. Next up, adjectives, such as worthy and pretty. If you're changing worthy to, say, worthily, then it's I-L-Y, or worthy est. You put an I in instead of a Y. It's not worthy est, it's I-E-S-T. Likewise, it's not pretty est, it's pretty est. So you drop the Y, you put in the I-E-S-T. Now, some of the times when you don't do this is when you're making it possessive. So if something belongs to the nanny, it is in fact the nanny's car. Nanny apostrophe s. You don't change it to. You don't change it. The only time you'll change it is if the cars belong to the nannies. So it belongs to more than one nanny. In which case the apostrophe goes after nannies. So plural first, then the apostrophe for ownership. But if it just belongs to one nanny, nanny apostrophe s. Likewise, if we're talking about the kitty's toy, so kitty apostrophe s kitty's toy. Now, there are a couple of exceptions, but they're really quite uncommon. But I'll tell, them what, tell you what they are anyway. If the letter before the Y is a vowel, such as in the word like donkey, then in actual fact the plural is not donkeys. It is donkeys. One that actually doesn't obey this rule is the word money. You can talk about having money, but in actual fact the plural of money is monies. Um, now that's not a word you'll use a lot in everyday English, but um, but that's that's an exception to the exception. So anyhow, that's the end of this presentation. I hope that's cleared it up a little bit for you. Um, and if in doubt, you know, look it up, hit you know, search it online, hit your dictionary, and so forth. But generally, if you're adding to it, um, the Y turns into an I. That's the general rule.